Hey everyone, I wanted to wish you all a happy new year. I couldn't start this new year out without thanking all of my wonderful YouTube subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I, I certainly hope that you will join me. It's been an interesting year, hasn't it? Uh, full of its challenges, but I just wanted to share this fun session that I had with some other pro members. Uh, my pro admin team joined me on Christmas day uh, and we just uh, drew each other. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing blind contour drawing. I want you to notice how I'm kind of looking off to the right, laughing and staring at my computer screen as I'm drawing each uh, person on the call. We had five of us all together and you can kind of see that I'm not looking at the surface that I'm drawing. And you can also see that if you're, if you can make out that they are faces, um, it looks like everybody so far has glasses and it just, it's just such a fun time. And I started with a uh, Posca marker, which is a waterproof marker that you can use with many different types of mediums and the Posca markers come in all different colors. And, you know, for now I'm just using pencil first, and then I'm using the Posca marker just to kind of get some lines that you can see from a distance. And each one of us was, uh, kind of doing our own thing. Uh, some of us were drawing on paper and some of us wanted to use color, but it didn't matter. You know, this is just a way to loosen up, have fun. As you can see here, I, I later decided to hold a ceramic piece in my hand. Uh, I have a whole collection of these little ceramic pieces that, you know, like a corn cob and a hot pepper and a gourd. And these were made by Omar Hernandez and he lives in Oaxaca, Mexico. And I taught a live cold wax and oil workshop there. And we were able to go to his studio and he gave us a wonderful tour. I actually have that, that studio visit in my watch and grow library, which has over 150 plus hours of my tutorials and trainings and demos and tips and interviews, critiques. If you haven't checked that out, um, you may well want to start your new year with access to my very huge art library, which is available 24 seven. And so if you have not ever done this before, if you have a friend that you might want to team up with and you could get together via Zoom, you could get together in person and just do some really fun blind contour drawing. Now in our pro membership, we're going to be doing some live, what I call zap days where we zoom and we paint and uh, we're getting ready to do our very first one where we're going to probably have uh, anywhere from 50 to hundred people on there, just uh, drawing and having fun or painting or whatever they want to do. And we kind of look at this as a great way to get to know our community and have fun and maybe have a glass of wine, unwind. So blind contour is a way to draw or paint expressively where you only look at the subject and not, not the surface that you're drawing or painting on. And what you do is you try to keep your drawing or your painting tool, whether it's a brush or a pencil on the surface the whole time without lifting it up. Now you can also do contour drawing where then you're fine if you look at your surface, but blind contour is just a little bit more loose and expressive and what you end up with, as you can see here, is pretty crazy and it may not look like anything, but it is a great way to loosen up, have fun, uh, get something started. And again, just, you know, have a ball. Now, this is really just an early stage. And like I said, I'm having fun. I'm letting go. I'm getting something started. I have nothing to lose, no expectations. And this is the ideal thing about play. You can truly do anything in the play stage. I, you know, there are no expectations. I don't expect to create a masterpiece. I don't expect to impress anybody. And I really don't care if it's ugly. In fact, you know, the more ugly it is, the more uncomfortable I tend to feel. And what that does for me, and I don't know if this happens for you, but when I look at something ugly, I kind of feel like I'm in a foreign country. Um, I'm definitely uncomfortable. It feels like I don't know the language. I don't know how to get around. And I certainly don't know how to get back home. So what happens is it kind of puts you in this situation where you really want to get back home because home is where you feel good and you feel happy and, and comfortable. So what play kind of does 
uh, you end up with a mess, but finding your way back to the things you love is really, to me, one of the best ways to learn who you are. In other words, if you have a mess in front of you and you ask yourself, gosh, I really don't like what's happening here. What would I rather have? So you ask yourself, what don't I have? And if you know what it is that you really like, like, let's say you love a certain color or you love a certain pattern or you love a certain shape, and then you understand color and design, which obviously is a wonderful uh, foundation. If you're an artist, this will give you a lot of solutions that if you don't have this knowledge, it's going to be a lot harder. So if you get these foundations, which is is at the basis of my pro membership, where we walk through all the foundations of color and design, you're much more able to move forward out of the play stage uh, through that middle explore stage where often we get stuck because we have solutions, we have ideas, and we've also taken a very good look at who we are, what we love, the things that we want to express in our artwork. And when you have all this information, uh, you're going to be much more able to create the very best art you were ever meant to create. I just am so enjoying our pro membership because the artists in there are so dedicated and passionate about not just their art, but in their journey and in each other. I think we all really, truly support each other. And let's face it, art is a very lonely business. And at some point, if we're beginner, intermediate, advanced, we all like to have community. We all like to have support. We like to share ideas and learn from each other. And that's what's happening right now. In pro, I couldn't be happier. Our members are just knocking it out of the park when it comes to growth, excitement, momentum. Uh, they're overcoming fear and procrastination. And I'm just so pleased to have this phenomenal group. Normally, it's only open twice per year in the fall and spring, but that's a long time to wait. So I decided that I would open up an application process. So now, if you want to join us and start having fun, really understanding the foundations of color and design and have access to a phenomenal community of dedicated artists, you may apply now. All you need to do is go to artandsuccesspro.com and fill out that application and I will review your application as soon as I can. And that's another way for you to join us now rather than wait six months. And I, I hope you like that option. So regarding personal voice, you know, I feel that our personal voice, it's, it's always there. I think what we just lack are the tools and skills to feature what it is that we love. And it's, it's not just technical information that we need. Um, technical information is kind of the easiest thing to acquire. And, you know, by practicing a few things, we can quickly pick up a technique. That's great. But, you know, how do you work with color and design and and create compositions that really speak clearly what we wish to say. It is a process. Everything is a process. And nothing happens overnight. We all realize that. But we also need support and encouragement at some point, you know, regardless of how long we've been painting, it's really wonderful to have this pro community where we encourage each other and everybody's doing their own thing, going at their own pace and sharing their discoveries with each other. And we're all learning from each other, regardless of whether some of our members are beginners, uh, some are intermediate and some are advanced, but it's all great. With that, I just wanted to share this uh, crazy painting session with you.
wish you all a very happy new year.